meet that state's standards. Republicans say gun owners will be able to travel without worrying about accidentally breaking state laws. Democrats are outraged by this, claiming the states with the weakest gun laws are undermining public safety. Joining us now is Captain Mark Kelly, retired astronaut, U.S. Navy captain, co-founder of Gifford's Courage, an organization dedicated to stopping gun violence. Uh, Mark, good to see you again. You and your wife, former Congressman Gabby Giffords, are actively campaigning against this bill. You always remind people when you talk about this that you are gun owners. What's the part of this legislation that troubles you? Well, you know, as a gun owner and a responsible gun owner, I think it's, uh, it's just bad and it's dumb policy. Uh, it allows people with uh, little to no training, no background check, to carry a gun from one state and bring it to another state. And we know when we, when we loosen uh, concealed carry laws, there was a study done by Johns Hopkins, and in a 10-year period, the murder rate went up 10 percent and violent crime went up 14 percent. So, so we know this is uh, not good policy, but it also does happen to be the big item on the NRA's uh, Christmas list. So that's why it's getting a vote in Congress today. Well, you say that this threatens law enforcement. Exactly how? Well, in, an, in a number of ways, uh, when more people carry guns in public, more people die from gunshot wounds. There's a clear connection. It also complicates the job of police officers. Uh, you know, the, the, the concept that the good guy with the gun is going to, you know, save the day every day. You know, that, that's not, that's, that's actually fiction. I mean, that is not reality. That's just what we see on TV. Uh, you know, reality is that when a law enforcement officer shows up at a scene and there are additional people uh, carrying guns, it's hard for them to figure out what's going on. Uh, we saw with the shooting in the Walmart in, in Denver uh, just a month ago, uh, it was very hard for the police officers to figure out who was the you know, who was the bad guy and who was the good guy. This was on a tape after the fact uh, because there were a lot of people that pulled out guns that made it difficult for them to track that person down. Uh, the other thing that complicates this incredibly is how is a police officer in one state supposed to understand, you know, while he's doing his job, what the laws are of the other 49 different states? It's not possible. So, you know, for them to do their job of policing a community, it just gets incredibly complex. And that's why law enforcement is against this. You know, our organization, Giffords, uh, you know, we have a law enforcement coalition with a lot of chiefs of police and sheriffs that have come out strongly against this. You know, a, a former State Department worker in the Bush administration also wrote an op-ed in the Post, as you did, arguing why she should be allowed to carry her gun all across state lines. Here's what she said. It's easy to see how a law-abiding person with a carry permit could easily make a mistake while trying to navigate all these different state laws. As this is a constitutional right, the onus should be on the government, not the citizen, uh, which is sort of counter to what you just argued, that th when you say the onus is on the government, that means the onus is on local law enforcement to figure out that you just came into New York from Connecticut where the laws are different. Um, th that does seem, well, how do you respond to that argument? Well, it's not a constitutional right to, for everybody to carry a firearm on their person in public. Uh, you know, the Second Amendment and in 2006 or 7, D.C. versus Heller, Anthony Scalia's decision, you know, his majority opinion that he wrote said that the Second Amendment means you have a right to own a gun in your home uh, to protect yourself if that's what you wanted. You know, and, but states, communities also have the right to, put, to uh, regulate what that means. So carrying a gun across state lines, I would argue, is not a Second Amendment right. And I'm a strong supporter of the Second Amendment. I'm a gun owner. I served in the military for 25 years. If you're a responsible uh, person and your state has a reciprocity agreement with another state, it's your responsibility to, to know that. And allowing individuals from the 12 states that have no requirement to carry a hidden gun in public and impose that on states that take take this seriously and have stronger gun laws and, by the way, also have a lot less uh, gun violence because of that. I mean, that, that's just not right. Mark, for responsible gun owners, Allie and I talk about this with one another all the time, why don't the responsible gun owners faction step out in a bigger and more public and powerful ray, way? Because as it stands, it seems like all gun owners sort of get swept under the NRA umbrella, and I don't think that's what all gun owners want. 
Well, and it's not what all the public wants either. I mean, the things that we support, like uh, universal background checks for all gun sales, get the support of 90% of Americans. I mean, that is a really huge number. Strengthening domestic violence legislation is overwhelmingly supported by Americans, but it's not supported, you know, b by the gun lobby. And, you know, we just hope that, you know, responsible gun owners uh, come to us, sign up, uh, you know, on our, our website. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. You know, we're organizing law enforcement and veterans, you know, people